Hello friends, welcome to Communication Skills for Everyone. In this channel, you are going to learn English language skills, language development, vocabulary, and all round development. Hello friends, welcome to Communication Skills for Everyone. Today, let's learn what is a memo or memorandum. Right, memorandum, short for memo. Memo is a business-oriented style that is you that is best suited for inter-office or inter-colleague correspondence. You can say that's a part of uh, internal communication regarding like uh, when you would like to pr provide some kind of procedures or any office business within an organization which is used. Memo is a type of business letter, so which uh, uh, more informal in tour and organization than a letter memos are generally used to provide or ask for information or announce a new policy or update on any personal transfers or promotions or for any other internal issues so a memo is a small note which is used to exchange information of some subject just now we mentioned maybe it's asking for information announcing a new policy or updating on any personal transfers or promotions or any other issue which happens internally why right. this is what uh, a memo is why memo is written so yeah to inform employees who are working within the company or organization about a policy or any process change in the organization this memo is used to provide an update on key projects or any other goals a memo is also used to make an announcement about the companies something like uh, an employee promotion or any new recruitment in the company next reminding employees about a task that needs to be completed so there may be any deadlines in the company so they would like to provide so they may drop a memo to inform about this and communicating a message that employees will refer to more than once such as detailed proposal or recommendation also they will they may use it so that's what memo is written what are the elements of a memo what are the elements of effective uh, memo so an effective memo grabs the reader's attention effective memo also provides information sometimes it may make a recommendation or sometimes it may ask for action plan so here an effective memo supports one's position or explains benefits to the reader effective memo mentions next steps and deadlines in the process so whenever dropping a memo it may always take the four step approach to writing so first one plan what you want to say second write a dropped third revise the dropped and the last one edit so we may also find some types of memos whenever we are writing so generally there are four types of memos you might have to write so each with its own organizational format like information problem solving persuasion and internal memo proposal so let us see what is information memo information memo is used to deliver or request information or assistance so first paragraph of uh, information memo provides main idea the second paragraph of information memo expands on the details and the third paragraph outlines the action required next let us move to problem solving memo problem solving memo suggests a specific action to improve a situation first paragraph states the problem second paragraph uh, maybe it analyzes the problem and third paragraphs maybe makes a kind of recommendation when making a recommendation it not only includes the positive details but also drawbacks and diffuse them uh, also in the part of it so let us move to the th next uh, persuasive memo so in this what happened so which is used to encourage the reader to undertake an action or maybe in the first paragraph begins with an uh, agreeable point between the two parties and second paragraph maybe introduces the idea and third paragraph states benefits to the reader 
if it requires you may also provide fourth and fifth uh, paragraphs or lines like uh, providing action required and uh, end with a call of action that persuasion and then if there is another one also called like internal memo proposal uh, internal memo pr proposal is used to convey suggestions to senior management sometimes you know the management may ask uh, to give your suggestions to, for improvement so in such cases you may provide uh, suggestions to senior people like it may be first paragraph so states reason for writing the internal memo second paragraph outlines present situation and states writer's proposal and third paragraph describes advantages the next one mentions diffuses disadvantages and the last paragraph ends with a call to action so these are the parts of that one so when let us move to the parts memo parts so your memo parts may be like a more informal in appearance and tone than a letter right it's not like letter format a memo is set up in a uh, special format like headings uh, lease table graphs and something like that often used to make information more readable right all memos may consist of two sections like heading and the body right the heading indicates who is writing to whom when and why the heading should include the following like uh, uh, two so here the lease the name of everyone who will receive the memo so here for example if you are sending to the complete uh, employees in the organization so everyone's name should be written in the two column and includes the first and last name and titles of departments of the recipient for formal uh, memos or memos superiors or if everyone on the list does not know each other right it may be the possibility to provide all the information and can be listed alphabetically or by rank so it may go by hierarchy level or maybe you can simply use alphabetical order it is not possible to fit all the names in the two right you may also use the uh, distribution list like c you just uh, add the distribution list so that everyone uh, can see who are the people received it and the next one from so you have the list of the names of writers in the same way write what you have written in the recipient column like two so there is no complimentary close or signature line but author essential names on the from line right there's one and then the text one date so you have the list the month the date and the year the memo was written don't use the abbreviations avoid using numbers for months and eight days like it's better to simply use it and the last year the last part of uh, heading is uh, subject right indicate the main subject of the letter should be as specific and concise as possible so that is provides in case if you are using any cc like carbon copy or something like that if you can also add this carbon copy or cc and the next part is body of the memo the body of the memo conveys the message generally consisting of four uh, parts like maybe here we can go with four part interaction or opening so which thought states general problem or main idea of the memo second one context or statement of facts we can say context or statement of fact in this states the fact or discusses the problem or issue right it provides a kind of background to the problem mentioned in interaction part third one it may be like uh, closing or argument something like explain importance and relevance of facts something like that even sometimes you know this is also part of the second paragraph and the third one like is like conclusion or closing summarizing so you are summarizing the main idea or suggests or requests action if it requires memos do not have a complimentary closed or signature uh, like signature line so memo end with a call of action call to action sometimes it may pro ask uh, to take a certain action for that problem so in such cases it may be you it may also require to add the problem so what is the problem about it and that's what it talks about parts of a memo and rules for good memo so the rules right here may we say that so whenever you are drafting a good memo right effective memo so you have to keep certain things in mind identify who are your readers and why whom you are sending the memo and there's one and you have to maintain good will tone so you have to use that right so you have to use simple and professional look right so you have to follow it and the message right so whatever the message you are sending it should be precise and concise 
write check the grammar so you have to check your grammar you have to use uh, uh, very simple right so even if you think you can you may ensure your memo just uh, whether it is word processed maybe whether you are using word document or whether it has a simple and professional look whether it is uh, uh, centered on the page from top to bottom so maybe you have to see that in case if you are typewriting so it should be in the center or whether it is left justified with single or 1.5 spacing within the paragraphs or maybe you are using double spacing between paragraphs that you must have to con maintain consistency and use a tool a uh, font size right and standard font like uh, you can use times new roman or Arial or calibri that is easy to read right even if you think it may require something like uh, sufficient uh, uh, space right uh, just to get the clarity of at times you may require the clarity right so your memo should be succinct formal clear and interesting and easy to read right it should be logically organized accurate and well researched and informative so when you are providing it you have to use it avoid using any technical vocabulary and abbreviations that the recipient may not understand right don't use uh, the technical jargon and avoid the use of slang colloquialism and any other contraction so use it is advised to use action words and active voice to convey your confidence highlight important point necessary wordings with headings subheadings uh, bulleted points and numbering leads and all that so it should be you have to check uh, even spelling and punctuation also maybe sometimes it may be the difficult issue so you have to focus that let's have uh, one sample how the memo should be right so you write that at the top of it write memorandum full form with caps and next uh, what is the to from date subject so very precise while writing this you just use all the things and make it make sure that your body of the memo is maybe three paragraphs it should be minimum three paragraphs so ensure that so first paragraph or first line or two lines you can write i am writing to inform you that so what you are informing you have to mention so you had reason for writing that particular memo so why you are writing this second has our company continues to grow so your evidence or reason to support your opening paragraph so already you have written it so just provide a kind of evidence or justification to the statement number one and next in the last paragraph if you think you have any questions or you can appreciate cooperation has something whichever you would like to say it you just use the terms and you can wait that's what it's a memorandum so memorandum should follow the same format so it should be in a page single page right it should be centered so already we talked about what are what you are supposed to follow the tips tips for following or writing a memo right this is about uh, uh, writing an effective memo thank you for watching subscribe communication skills for everyone for more academic and educational videos friends